Hi y'all. Just doing a real quick video. What I have here is some bacon and I'm going to try something. I haven't done it before, but if it'll work out, it'll be great. Instead, I want to be able to make some bacon bits. So what I'm going to do is I have some bacon here. It doesn't matter what bacon you use. Um, right here, I have the Smittyville um, hickory bacon. And then I also have another type of bacon as well. I also have the bacon thick cut Tyson. I'm just going to mix them together. And I'm going to put it inside of my slow cooker. And what I want to do is I want to be able to um, not have to monitor it. So I'm just cutting it up into little pieces. And I'm not doing it a specific way. You see, I'm just kind of winging it. And I'm going to put this inside of my slow cooker. I have a triple cooker. So if I can fit all of this in my three, then I will. If not, then I'll end up putting it in two different ones. So that's done. Just want to give it a rough chop. And I'm going to put it on at night. So while I'm sleeping, it can be able to be cooking. And I'm going to go ahead and put it on low. And I'm just going to chop this up too. And this knife needs to get sharpened. It should be cutting it better, but you know, that's okay. I wish I had chopped it up a little better. Let me sharpen it. Okay. I've given it a sharpen. Let's see if it cuts a little better. Eh, it's a little better. Oh, no, it's better. Yeah, it's better. Yeah. Alright. And then I got one more. So I'm doing around three pounds of it. Alright. And then I'm going to go ahead and put it in a bag and then I'm going to put it inside of my slow cooker. And this will be great so we can put it on sandwiches salads, or your food, whatever. So instead of buying it, those little packets where you can be able to buy bacon, I'm just going to use this instead. Alright, so let me go ahead and bag this on up. side of the crock pot. And let's experiment together. All right. Let's get a move on and put it on in. All right. So here's what my slow cooker here. This is actually a three quart. Um, it's a triple cooker. And right here I have some wrapping in it. It's the, um, they're slow cooker liners. So I'm going to go ahead and put this on in here. And we're going to just cook away. So I hope it'll all fit. I'm putting it in just like that. And it seems like it'll fit there. So I think it, I think I'll just be able to do it in one. In one. Not have to do it in a whole bunch of them. So there. Okay. Have it on in. Make sure I get rid of all of it out. A little bit. A little lagger right there. Alright. So I have it in. Taking my gloves off and let me make sure I'm going get a fork. Make sure it's all pushed down with my knife. All right. Now all I'm going to do is cover it and I'm going to go ahead and put it on low. And then when I wake up, I can go ahead and cut it up and put it on high to make it go faster. But I'm just going to go ahead and let it go. Hopefully the grease and all that will cook it. And then eventually it will turn um, you know, to bacon bits. Fingers crossed. Okay. 
All right, so I'm going to go ahead and put on low. We'll be back and let's see what happens. All right, so here is the bacon here. It's cooled down some, but look at it. It's cooked, but this is nowhere near like what I'm accustomed to, like this right here, some of the real crumbled bacon. So I think to go a step further, I'm going to go ahead and um, drain the fat, and then I'm going to go ahead and just put this in a pan, and I think then I can crisp it up some. But as far as cooking in the crock pot, I was hoping that it would cook in the juices, um, you know, the grease, and that it would, you know, fry it, basically. But no, that did not happen. So anyway, you can't cook it in it, but this is what I got. This is around 10 hours later. Yeah, around 10 hours later. So yeah, there we go. Smells good, though. <laughs> so anyway, um, you, you can give me your thoughts. This was the first time me doing it. So thank you so much for watching. Take care, and definitely God bless.